Good evening, everyone. Um, hope you're all well. Um, so I'm just going to give it about another minute um, and then we will get going. Um, so I'll just bring you through about 30 to 40 minute practice. Um, if you want to grab a yoga block or a book, just we'll be starting in the seated position. Um, so you can grab that if you wish. Um, yeah, and if you have a mat, that's great. If not, just grab something comfortable um, or somewhere comfortable to sit. Um, just try not to be on a completely hard surface, okay? Um, yeah, so I hope you all enjoy. Um, hopefully the house or the room you're in is nice and quiet. Um, and if you want to pop on some music there for yourselves, um, feel free to do so. I'm just going to move the camera slightly. Super. So I'll just give it another couple of seconds there and then we'll get going. Okay. Perfect. So we will begin. Okay, so we'll start in an easy pose. Okay, so we'll start in our cross legged position. So, as I said, if you want to use a block or a book to sit on, to, then feel free to do so. Um, and yeah, so we'll pop down, pop the block with a book, or if you don't have anything, don't worry about it. We won't be staying in this position. For too long, okay. So just pop yourself down. So just get nice and comfortable. Just feel the sit bones either down onto your block or down onto the mat. Great. And we're just going to start. We're just going to roll those shoulders. Back. So just roll the shoulders all the way back. Great. Nice big circles. Super. And then just bring them forward for me. Great. And just let the shoulders relax down your back. Great. So as I said, try to sit up nice and tall. So a nice straight line from your tailbone all the way up to the crown of the head. Try not to be slouching over. So sitting up nice and tall. Just place your hands down onto your knees and we will just close the eyes down for a couple of minutes. Great. So just close those eyes down. And just have a little check in with the body. So just notice how the body's feeling this evening. Notice any tightness around the body. So especially within our neck, our lower back, our hips, hamstrings, the knees, the calves, the ankles. Just notice how the body feels this evening. And just remember throughout practice, just remember to take your time, go at your own pace. So your practice, it's nobody else's. And then just start to bring awareness now to your breath. So just notice your breath this evening. We want to try to keep our breath in through our nose and back out through our nose if we're able. If not, don't worry about it, don't fixate on it, just go with your natural rhythm and just breathe nice and gently. Okay. So we're just going to start now to try deepen that breath. So we're going to breathe right down into that tummy. So taking a nice deep breath in through the nose, sending it right down into the tummy. So feeling that tummy expand, coming up through the rib cage, the chest, and then release back out. So just emptying out the body completely. And as we do, try to hug that belly button back towards the spine. So we're just going to take four nice deep breaths here. Go with your own time, listening to your own breath. Just 
We'll throw one more breath here. And exhale, let it complete the arch. Great. We'll just start with the neck. So we'll just gently drop that neck or chin down towards the chest. Great. So keeping the shoulders where they are. Just let the jet chin fall gently towards the chest. Don't push it. Just let it gently fall, feeling a nice release on the back of the neck. And gently bring that head back. And we're gently now, we're just going to start to drop that left ear towards the left shoulder. So if you want to intensify the stretch, we'll take that right hand left to the right hand side of our mat, just coming out to the fingertips. We'll just feel a nice stretch now and then the right hand side of our neck. Great. We'll just hold for another two breaths here. Bring that right hand back to me, bring the head back to center, and then gently drop that right ear towards the right shoulder. And again, if you want to bring the left hand out to the side of your mat, gently drop that right ear, keeping the shoulders soft, just feeling a nice stretch, then the left hand side of your neck. And again, just holding for two more breaths. We'll just bring that left hand back to your knee, bring the head back to center. Great. So we're just going to take a nice deep breath in. Let's bring both arms up overhead. Great. Reaching right up, lengthen through the fingertips. And then exhale, we'll release back down. We're going to do that two more times. So inhale, let's bring that hand up overhead, lengthen through the fingertips, reaching up towards that ceiling. And exhale, release down. And one more. Inhale, reaching up. Reach right up towards the ceiling. And exhale, release down. Great. Just keeping that left hand down onto the mat. If you want to take your block out now, then you're more than welcome. Or you can leave it here completely up to yourself. Keeping the left hand down in the floor. Take a nice deep breath and we're going to reach that right arm. Up towards the ceiling, and then we're going to come into a small little side bend. So we're reaching over towards the left of that right arm. You can take your gaze up towards the ceiling, up to the hand if you wish, or just keeping your gaze on the front. And again, we'll just hold for two more breaths here. So just opening up that right hand side of the body. Great, and um, we release that right hand back down into the mat. So we'll gently swap sides. So inhale and let's reach that left arm up towards the ceiling and then start to bend towards that right hand side. So you can bend that right elbow if you wish. You want to keep that sit bone down onto the floor, reaching towards the right hand side now with that left arm. Great. One more breath here. And inhale, back to center. Super. So we're going to take that left leg now. We're going to straighten it out to the left hand side of our body. We're going to keep that right foot tucked in towards the thigh. Great. So we're just going to twist our body to face towards that left leg. We're going to try to keep our toes pulled back towards our shin. Okay. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. Reach right up to the ceiling with both arms. And then on the exhale, just fall towards that left leg. Brilliant. So grab onto whatever is comfortable for you. That might be right down onto the feet, could be on the calf, wherever works for you. Great. We're going to lift that chest up, the head up, take another deep breath in. And now exhale. Let's just tuck that chin in towards the chest, fall a little bit more forward over that left leg. And we'll just take two breaths here. Great. 
and inhale, let's just gently roll ourselves back. Super, so we'll swap sides, so take that right leg out, bring it out to the side, we'll take the left foot and bring it in towards the right foot. And again, just gently twist yourself towards that right leg. And again, let's inhale, let's reach those arms right up overhead. And exhale, fall forward. Great. Grab it up to wherever it's comfortable for you. Let's take a deep breath in, lift the chest, lift the head. And exhale, let's spill over that right leg, tuck the chin into the chest. And two breaths here. And inhale, slowly roll yourself all the way back. Great. So we're going to make our way down into our tabletop position. So we're going to come over on to all fours. Okay? So we're bringing the knees in underneath the hips. We're bringing the hands in underneath the shoulders. So we'll start to warm up that spine and we'll come and do our cat. Okay? So hands nice in underneath the shoulders, knees in underneath the hips. Great, right. we're going to take a deep breath in. Let's send that tailbone right up to the ceiling, drop the belly button, bring the chest forward, shoulder bend away from the ears and the up. And then let's exhale, let's round that spine. Chin to the chest, press the hands to the floor, belly button to the spine, and tuck the tailbone under. Great, and then we'll inhale. Great, tailbone high, drop the belly button, shoulders away from the ears, lift that chest. And exhale, round up. Chin to chest, press the arms into the floor, belly button back, tuck the tailbone. And we'll go for two more reps. There we go, one breath. Inhale and come forward. Have a little pause to top that inhale to reach. And then exhale, round the spine. One more, inhale in. And yes. And here, let's come back to center. So we'll go for it, thread the needle now. And so we'll start with the left hand, okay? So we'll take a nice deep breath in and we'll bring that left hand right up towards the ceiling. Follow the form of the hand. And then exhale, release that left hand in and underneath that right. So thread it in under. And inhale to come around. Exhale, thread that left arm in underneath the right. Great, two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Great, one more now. We're going to hold on this exhale. Exhale, release in and under. Great, we're going to hold here. So left the shoulder. The head, the ear, release the floor if you can. Don't panic if it doesn't. Great. So we're just going to take three breaths here. Last breath. Great. Breath into that right hand and we'll come back to center. Great. Readjust if you need to. And we're going to swap sides. So we take that right hand now. Inhale, let's sweep it around, follow the thumb towards the ceiling, and exhale, let's release it underneath that left hand. Great, inhale, right. Exhale, release it under. Two more times, the last one we did exactly as we did on the left hand. Great, and um, Take it on hold down here. Let your shoulder release it. Clear your head as much as you can. Bring that nice stretch on the back of the shoulder. Only for one more breath here. Great. And let's press into that hand. Let's come back to center. Super. So we're coming to a wide leg child's pose, okay? So we're going to take those knees as wide as the mat, we're going to take to keep the big toes together, okay? Then press the hips back onto those heels, walk the hands out in front, and drop the forehead down towards the mat. 
You want to stay here now for a couple of breaths. You might relax and hold. Good. So each exhale, imagine that someone is pressing down onto your lower back, just gently pressing down on those hips, releasing them further towards the hips. Let's take one more breath here. Just gently lift the head up. And then you just start to walk the hands over towards the left hand side of your mat or your body. Great. So I want you to keep a nice and length in the arms. Just drop the forehead towards the mat. Just feel a nice stretch now for the right hand side of the body. And breathing for two more breaths. Gently walk the hands back into the center. Keep the head up here. Walk the hands a little bit more in front. And then again, we start to walk and look at the right hand side. So just go as far as you can. Just feel a nice stretch. And then hold there. And we'll just hold for a couple of breaths here. Just open up the left hand side of the body now. Just hold it for one more breath. Great. And we just walk the hands back into the center. Good. And we'll just bring ourselves to that tabletop position. Take it. So just bring your both knees back and underneath the hips. Hands in underneath the shoulders. Great. We're going to make our way now into our first downward dog. Okay? So we're going to curl those toes under. Brilliant. We're going to take a breath in, we're going to lift those knees up off the mat. Then as we exhale, let's send those hips and tailbone up towards the ceiling, bringing the chest back onto those bent knees, drop the crown of the head. Great. So keeping that nice bend, you want to walk out your downward dog, you come into the toes of one foot, dropping the knees on the other, feel free. Do what you wish here, shake the head, yes and no. Do what feels good to your body. Good. We get the point of stillness now in your downward dog. Now we're going to come into our plank from here. So let's take a deep breath in, like. Pull ourselves into our high plank position. Great. So if you have any wrists or shoulder injuries, just drop down onto your elbows. Great. We're going to hold this strong plank position for three breaths. So squeeze on those quad muscles, those big muscles at the front of the leg. Squeezing on the glutes. Holding that belly button back towards the spine. Great. Let's take one more deep breath in. And exhale. Great. Let's gently lower ourselves all the way down onto our mat. Super. Release the feet. We're going to take the hand out in front of our mat. Come right up onto the fingertips. We're bringing the hands to the edges of the mat, out in front, open into our cobra. Okay? So we're going to take a nice deep breath in, press into the fingertips, lift the chest up off the mat. Good. And exhale through the step. Go three more reps. Inhale and come up. And exhale through the step. Great. One more. Inhale up. And exhale through the step. Great. Let's take those hands now back in underneath the shoulders. We're going to curl those toes under. You're going to squeeze on those quad muscles, those big muscles at the front of the leg. Taking a deep breath in, let's press ourselves up into that high plank position. Great. From here, we're going to send those kicks back up towards the ceiling, coming into our downward dog. 
Great. So again, if you want to walk it out, feel free. Great. We're just going to take one more breath here in our downward dog. Great. And let's start to walk those feet up towards the hand. Great. Nice and slow. We're going to stay in that nice forward fold, okay? So bend those knees, chest on the thighs, drop the crown of the head. I want to come into our right dog position. So take a hold of either elbow. Bring so just any rock here from side to side. Again, shake the head, yes, and go. If that feels good. Bring Bring it. 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 Bring so inhale, just bring the hand onto the shin, straighten out the legs. Great. L shape of the body, eyes towards the top of the mat. Okay, feeling a nice stretch here in the back of the legs. You can bring the hands to the floor if that works for you. The shins are more comfortable at the thigh. So let's walk first to your body. And we'll just pull here, inhale. And exhale again, and spread over the thigh, so bend the knees, hands lock, drop the front of the head. Great, now this time, let's take the hand to the front shin, and we're gently going to roll the body up. So let's start to gently let the fingertips spread the front of the leg, roll the body up, and the bottom of the spine all the way to the top, letting the head be the last part to rest. Brilliant. So we'll come to the top of our mats now. Right, we're going to stand into that. So bring those feet together. Bring the legs together. Great. So we'll just release all the toes down onto the mat. Give yourself a nice base down onto the floor. Great. So just feel your way through all four corners of the feet. Great. Let's gently close the eyes here. We're going to pull those knees up towards the hip bones. Gently tucking the tailbone in and under. Great. Let's roll the shoulders back. Turn the palms to face forward. So to Dasana, our mountain pose. Great. We're going to hold here for three breaths. Great. Two more breaths. Take a little more breath here. Great. Now, you can reopen the eyes. We're going to take the arms and bring them up overhead. So, a good deep breath in. Bring those arms right up overhead. Great. Super. So, just keeping space between the arms. You can take a little gaze up towards the ceiling. You can take a small little back bend. Great. On our next exhale, now we're coming to our forward fold. So, spill your body over your thighs. Great. Drop the crown of the head. Inhale into your back with it. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Excuse me. We're going to take that right foot now. We're going to step back with that right foot. Drop that right knee to the floor. Great. We're going to take both hands now. We're going to open the head to so a deep breath and bring the hands up to our low lunge. Great. You can look right up into the ceiling if you can. Let's go. Press forward, feeling a nice stretch now through our right hip flexor. Brilliant. Good in here for two breaths. Great. We're going to take that right hand now, we're going to bring it towards the mat. Put it into a nice easy twist. Keep the left arm up, and please up into the left fingertips. Okay, one more breath here. Super. We're going to take that left hand and bring it outside that left foot. Super. Now this time we're going to sink our hips back on to that right heel. Okay? So send the hips back towards that right heel, lengthening out that left leg. So feel a nice stretch here down the back of that left hand. Good. So we're going to here for three more breaths. Try to rest the breath down the back of that left leg. Great. 
One more breath. Two, and inhale. Coming back up. Curl the toes of that back leg. We're going to lift that right knee up off the floor. We're going to take that left foot now and step it back into our plank position. Perfect. From here, we're going to lower ourselves by our knees, chest, chin, keeping the hips up. We're going to inhale into our cobra. We're going to exhale into our downward. Take taking three breaths here in that downward dog. Send that tailbone round towards the ceiling, chest back towards the thighs. Good. One more breath. As we exhale, let's bend the knees, take your gaze in between the hands. We're going to step our feet in between our hands. Great. We're going to inhale, bring the hands onto the shins for your half lift. Exhale, spin it forward onto the thighs. We're going to swap sides, okay? We're going to step back now with that left foot. Drop that left knee towards the floor. Great, we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to raise both arms up towards the ceiling. Great, relax the shoulders. Let the hips fall through. Feel that nice stretch now on that left hip. Okay, one more breath here. Good. I'm going to take the left hand now this time. Drop it towards the mat. Keep the right arm up. Take your gaze off that right foot. Okay, one more breath here. Good. Let's take that right hand, drop it outside that right foot. And now again, we're going to open up that right hamstring. So send the hips back towards that left heel. We're going to ask you to feel that right foot. You're keeping it flat. And we'll hold for three breaths. So we'll go feet a difference between our left and our right. Great. So only come to a nice stretch. Great. One more. Good. Come forward again. Great. Let's curl the toes of that left foot. Lift that left knee up off the floor. And now let's step that right foot back into that plank position. Brilliant. Take a breath here in plank. Exhale, let's drop the knees, the chest, the chin. Inhale into the cobra. Exhale into your downward dog. Great. Again, take a two breath here in downward dog. On the next exhale, let's bend the knees. Feel up between the hands. Let's set the feet in between the hands. Great. Let's inhale into our half leg. Exhale, the hands reach. Let's inhale, let's sweep the hands up overhead. Great. Bring the hands together, gaze up into the palms, and exhale, release the hands to the chest. Super. So we're coming into our chair pose now. So we'll start with our feet in underneath our hips. Great, okay? We're gonna sink our hips back onto our heels. Let's take the arms out in front first. Take a breath in and exhale, sink those hips back. Great. Hold in for two breaths. Great. On your exhale, let's spill over the thighs into your forward fold. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale. Let's step back now with that right foot. Great. We want to keep that right foot up off, or right knee up off the mat now this time. Coming into our high lunge. So let's inhale, sweep the hands up. Great. And we're going to hold here now for three breaths. So let the hips drop down towards the floor. Great, one more breath. Great. As we exhale, let's bring our hands by the side of that left foot. Great. So now again, we're going to press back through that left heel. Great. Lengthen out that left leg. 
Spin the chest over the thigh, drop the thigh to the head towards the back. Great. We're feeling a nice stretch now down the back of that leg, tantric. Great, and hold for one more breath. Good. Let's inhale, let's bend that left knee again. Great, come to that lunge position. Hands onto the mat, we're going to step back into our plank. Great, inhale here and plank. Exhale, are you drop the knees to try to the chin or lower yourself down. Inhale into your full plank. Exhale into your downward plank. Great, two breaths here and then we're done. Okay. One more breath. And as we exhale, let's bend the knees, take the gaze in between the hands. Let's step to feet in between the hands. Great, let's inhale, hands the shins. Great, exhale, hands the mat. Let's swap sides now. So we're going to step back now with that left foot. Great, so we're coming into that high lunge position. Let's take a deep breath in. Let's bring the hands up overhead. Great, so good balance here. If you relax the shoulders, great. And the hips sink. The back leg is nice and strong. Super. One more breath. And exhale. Let's sail over that right thigh. Bring the hands outside that right foot. Great. Now let's press through that right heel. Let's lengthen out that right leg. Now still down over that right thigh. Drop the forehead towards the shin as best as you can. And again, we'll hold for three breaths. So each exhale, we're trying to release the hamstring a little bit more. One more breath here. Okay, let's inhale, let's come forward. Great. We're going to step back now into that plank position again. Take that left foot back, or right foot, sorry, back into that plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale on your knees, chest chin, or lower yourself halfway to your chaturanga. Inhale into your cobra, or upward dog. And exhale into your downward dog. Take two breaths here and down with up. Next, exhale your half, gently bend the knee, look between the hands. We're going to step our feet in between our hands. Great. Inhale into your half way lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Now we'll inhale back into that chair. So inhale. Bring the hands out in front, sink the hips back. Great. Good. Let's bring the hands together. Let's come up tall and bring the hands to heart center. Super. So we'll make our way now down onto our mat. So coming down onto the mat. Great. So all the hard work is done. Great. Sitting up tall, bring the arms out to the side. Let's just gently release our bodies. Back down onto the mat. Super. Bring the heels as close to the body as you can. We come into our bridge pose. Great. So we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to press through those heels, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Great. We're going to hold here for three breaths. Just squeeze on all the back of the body. Great. One more left here. Okay, let's then release our body down onto the mat. We're going to take both knees in towards the chest. Let's wrap the hand around the shin. And just give yourself a gentle to little rock here from side to side. Great. Let's release the arms. Out to show your height, you have the palms facing down. We're going to take the knees now, drop them over to the left hand side of your body, and let's take your gaze over that right shoulder. We're going to twist here. Good. 
enjoyed um and hopefully we will see you all again soon thank you bye